Hey guys, I'm Sebastian and this is Don, Dr. Don from Performance Play Sports here in Huntington Beach. <laughs> what was the pause for? I was trying to come up with something to make fun of your name, but I couldn't think of anything. Um, anyways, we're locally famous in Huntington Beach. Locally world famous. Locally world famous. One, two, three. Locally, locally world, world famous. famous. Don, Don says I like to do uh, like a frumpy face when I do the jingle. Anyways, if you hate this jingle, just say I hate that jingle and Sebastian's face looked better than Don's during that. Anyways, we're gonna cover a topic today which is really hot for people, which is that stabbing shoulder blade pain, like right in the middle of the shoulder blade. I'm gonna show it on your back. Okay. Can you come this way? Actually, come closer to the camera. Oh, closer to the camera. So, Just turn around. By so, the way, you didn't tell everyone to subscribe. Oh, okay, guys, the, somewhere around the video, I guess it changes a lot, I don't know. There's a subscribe button. If you guys want more of the stuff that we're putting out. It's a circle. It's a circle, cool. So now that, we're, now that I got Seb in the isometric split squat, <laughs> um, shoulder blade pain. So usually, so here's his blade, okay? Usually about somewhere on the inside, spine, blade, somewhere in the middle, sharp stabbing pain there, okay? It could be up here, could be here. Could be feeling like you can't even really point to it, it's just like, in there so somewhere around this general area is what we are talking about today right and so some people describe it as a stabbing pain a searing one i had someone before tell me that it, it they were so descriptive they said you know those old hand bores like how you drill into wood but yes. you crank it she said it sound it felt like someone was wheeling that into her shoulder blade uh. like consistently so it can hurt pretty bad, um, and there's a lot of things that can cause it, but I think we're going to find you some easy wins today. They might or might not be stretches. Um, we're basically just going to spitball this a little bit and show you some things. I might try to stump her, she might try to stump me, um, but we'll see if we can figure out what people typically ask. Cool. Okay. So do we want to go with the exercises that might work first, or movements that people complain about Let's see what movements that people complain about. Okay. I like that one. That hurts you? Mm -hmm. So that makes your shoulder blade worse. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're, are we, we're playing the game of I need to help you. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Okay, do you want to do it again? Okay, good. Let's turn you to the side a little bit. Um, yeah, straddle the bench for me. Good, go ahead and do that again. Okay, so we're gonna look at Dawn right here and how she has, go ahead and um, down. She has like the posture of a turtle, okay? <laughs> she does this a lot. I don't know why she does this. Yeah, her head's poking out. Her, it's like she's nice and arched right here, not in a good way, but in a tur I guess turtle, perfect. I think it's the head thing that you're talking about with the turtle. Oh no, I'm thinking about I'm talking about both, because the thing the thing is these things go together. True. And, and so just perk up. You can't poke your chin anymore, really, can you? It's hard. You really want around that spine if you do, huh? Mm -hmm. Anyways, posture up. Do that arm movement again. You got a lot more movement now. It's really yeah. You try to poke it at the end. So if you're, if you're trying to do snatch work, like you're trying to go over having the barbell, people like to poke their head through that hole, and that's a big no-no. Go ahead and go up again. If you put your chin on my, or, there you go. <laughs> so I, I stuck my hand in a big old pile of feces earlier. Can you, <laughs> you can go ahead and t touch it if you want it smells to. Smells like it too. <laughs> yeah, good, come down. I had, I had tuna. Go ahead, go ahead and touch it, I dare you, uh. I dare you. So this, this a lot of times you have to train people to keep their chin backwards and posture up as they're going through that. Now, could this be a shoulder, a shoulder blade muscle issue? Yeah, maybe. But the thing that we have to consider. We have to consider pausing for a second because our phone we'll is be, ringing. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> that phone just won't stop. Good thing, good problem to have. Um, so could this be an issue in the shoulder blade? Yeah, it could be, but a lot of times it's driven from the neck and that pokey posture as well as the poor posture here um, tends to drive that problem into the shoulder blade which actually is more probably closer to what we call the dorsal scapular nerve than it is to actually the rhomboid. To be honest, I've never ever ever, and I've been in practice for 10 years, seen a rhomboid strain. They're like unicorns, they don't mm -hmm. really exist. Mm -hmm. It hurts in the area, granted, but it's usually referred. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so I gotta stump you now, huh? Okay. What are we gonna, what are we gonna do here? Okay, so um, it hurts to, st I'm stretching it. Okay. It's on this, it's on this side. Okay. Hurts to stretch it. Okay. But it, what if you come back up? 
Like that? It's not hurting? That feels better now. <laughs> so don't do it. <laughs> That's what I but, have to say, so just don't do it. Yeah, but I, I feel like I gotta stretch it because it hurts to turn a little bit, but I feel like I gotta stretch it because it's tight. Okay, so then I'm gonna give you something different to try instead of the stretch. Okay. So one, actually, we can just don't pull so hard. You can mm -hmm. just try that. How about not even put your head there or hand there? Just try to sniff this armpit for me. And just holding that position actively can maybe help a little bit. Sometimes people try to crank too hard and try to stretch into it too much. Maybe try that, see if that works. That doesn't help. I'm gonna give you a different movement to try. That's not necessarily gonna be this movement, but it's kind of like getting away from that poo poo hand that Sam was talking about, okay? So turn sideways for me, straddle, so they can see. That poop hand, are we doing the poop hand again? Yeah, but I think it's just a different, I call it, I call it give yourself as many chins as you possibly can. There you go. But I like your poop hand thing, so it's just funny. Don't let me itch in the face. Don't let me in the face of my poop hand. <laughs> or what is the thing, the, the kiss? You're getting away from a kiss from somebody icky? Oh, that ugly kiss? Ugly kiss. Ugly. So if you'll notice, Seb's going straight backwards with his head. Okay? Not, I say give yourself a double chin or tuck your chin, and what do they do? Most people. Yeah, they go down. I don't want you going down. Okay? I want you going, <laughs> I don't know where this part's coming in. Most people don't do that. But it's just straight back. Okay, I would say like you're closing a drawer behind you with your head right here. It may seem really, really silly, but there's so many times with people with this specific shoulder blade pain who do about 20 of these and they're like, holy crap, that actually really worked for me. Why did that work? So, I got, another one. Kind of, I got okay. another one for you. Okay, what? So, it hurts here, shoulder blade a little bit too. A little bit into my arms, a little bit. Uh -huh. Not, doesn't worry about, don't worry about that though. To my shoulder blade. Strangely, it gets better when I put my arm over my head. Uh, yeah. What do I do? Keep your arm on your head. <laughs> <laughs> you keep giving me the answers with these ones, you realize that. I know that. <laughs> but it's, people come to us and they tell us those things and we realize that they're giving us the answers when they, when they talk about things like that. Well, so then maybe a, a question that would be like, like, number one, why would they keep putting their hand over the head? Mm -hmm. And also, why would they pay you for some stupid advice? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's not stupid advice, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, but I already know that. It seems like silly stuff, right. So, I mean, the one thing that, if, let's talk about a little bit of anatomy here with this one. Do I want to use Mr. Bob? You Mr. Want, Rob, or do I, I want to use you? You can use Bob. Hey, I'll tell you what. Bob. I'll grab the camera and I'll, 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 I'll help you find some. Okay. So, here's Mr. Bob here. Okay. We like using him because he's uh, got a missing jaw so we can see his neck. Let's turn him this way so we can uh, okay. get lighting kits in the way. Okay. So the reason why this happens when you're able to just like put your arm up like this and maybe it helps with the shoulder blade pain or even that arm pain down the side is because we have nerves in our neck right here, okay? These nerves, these are all cut off right now, but if they were to extend on a normal human, they would extend all the way down into the shoulder blade and all the way down the arm. Sometimes when they're irritated, sometimes when they've been stretched too much, they can cause referring pain into these areas, okay? So when you go up like this, it takes tension off of those nerves. Simply put, that's really as much as it does, is it takes tension off of the nerves by doing that specific movement. All right. So, why would we tell somebody to just continue to do that, Zed? Well, let me jump in front of the camera again, <laughs> Don. Um, so, strangely, a lot of people, I, I, I saw one person this week that he was, um, he was kind of funny, like, what we had him do, like, imagine that he wasn't for this, but it's for something else. So, we did all the testing and examination and everything, and uh, lo and behold, this took his pain away every time, you know, obviously to get part of the body. And so... He said, he said, kind of like how I said to you, I, I've been doing this. And I said, well, what I want you to do is throughout the day, do it more. And he's like, ah, oh, shit. I'm like, what? He's like, I was doing that. And I said, how many times are you doing it during the day? And he says, like, just like a minute in the morning. And then I would stop. And I'm like, I know, you were, you were, very, you were very close, very close to a very easy win. And so the answer is, dose it. It's like taking it, like most of us are familiar, familiar with antibiotics. This isn't a medication, obviously, but antibiotics, usually what happens is you go into the doctor's office and they say, hey, they reach in their cabinet and they say, here's pill number one. Mm -hmm. Go down to the pharmacy, take the remainder of the pills for the next five days in this amount during this time of day, eat it with food. So it's, it's following the instructions mm -hmm. with it. And then all of a sudden, lo and behold, 
you feel better. This is the same thing. You dose it. It's because if this was working, this is called Bacotti sign. You guys can look that up if you want to. It, what it shows is, is that this decreases tension on the, on the nerve bundle. And what we don't want is we don't want too much tension on a nerve, which basically it creates a tourniquet and it strangulates the nerve um, and cuts off blood supply and it makes the whole area kind of irritate. Wherever it innervates could be different spots. So one of the easiest wins is um, if it feels good, do it more. Yeah. So you don't always have to have something fancy. So is that it though? No, there's more. <laughs> there's more. I mean, those are the easy ones I think you guys should yeah. try anyways. I think this is important. We just go through these for you guys to try things at home. And a lot of times, too, is people, people see the videos and they try the things that we recommend and it works for them. And then ultimately when they come to see us and they let us know that because they, they're like, hey, this works, but kind of where do I go from here is, okay, well, now you've already done pretty much the hard part is figuring out what decreases your pain. Now it's our job to figure out what caused it in the first place, number one, and number two, how do we help you prevent it from happening again going forward, or just giving you more tools for you to then just have more control over it from home. So yeah. coming in to see us, we can just help guide you in that direction. Yeah, I think the hard part for a lot of people to understand is that they, um, they're, they're very aware when things come back over and over again that it gets very frustrating. But, you know, most people have their first incident and it's not like it just tends to go away by doing something mm -hmm. silly. You know, it works. But when it comes back over and over again, you kind of wonder, how do I stop this from coming back? And, and that's the harder part. Uh, and that takes a little bit of work and just a little bit of planning and just letting someone uh, show you the way, really. But the body naturally kind of sometimes you just figure it out. Like a lot of people do figure it out. They just seem to dose it a little bit more. So. Um, if you guys are liking these videos that we're putting out so far, please comment below number one, ask us a question, um, and tell us which of the ones you like. This, I'm sure everyone's going to like the Sniff My Dirty Hand one. Um, and also subscribe to the channel, one of the corners is a little circle, has a P, YouTube loves to over the years change where the P's at, and so just click on that, subscribe to our channel, you get releases when all this stuff comes together. And also too, you'll see um, on the channel that there's a search bar, and it says, what do you want to find? And we have over 500 videos probably on a bunch of these things. So just go through and look up squatting and deadlifting or shoulder blade pain or headaches or whatever you want to look up. Um, it's the easiest way that you guys can get the free information we put out there because we have a ton of it. Mm -hmm. um, remember, if you're in Huntington Beach, come in and see us. We are locally world famous. Locally world famous. I didn't hear you. Locally world famous. <laughs> I like the, this at the end. We'll see you guys next time.